the skies were clear. The men ready. It's a day they have waited for years. Almost a decade after the multi-role light combat aircraft Tejas first took to the skies, India's homegrown LCA was given the initial operation clearance, clearing the way for its induction into the Indian Air Force. Monday's flight launches India into an exclusive club of nations that include the US, Russia, France and Britain that can produce combat aircraft. The IAF has ordered 40 machines that will be delivered in the next two years and will replace the aging mix. Tejas taking wing is actually a dream come true for all of us. We've been dreaming about it for the last 25-30 years. The project has come a long way since air staff requirements were issued in 1985. The lightweight Tejas presently powered by American General Electric engine has been developed from scratch. The fourth generation aircraft capable of carrying assorted weapon loads and drop tanks up to four tons has some of the latest avionics and digital flight control systems. The LCA though many say is still not 100% ready and the IAF which has long waited for this believes many more tests need to be done before it can be a truly cutting edge machine. Point that there are some areas where work still needs to be done like it is the case in all development aircraft and aspects that need to be improved before the aircraft is inducted into the Indian Air Force. The project which has taken 27 long years to reach this stage has been bogged down by technology denials leading to financial constraints and cost escalations. But with this operational clearance there are now plans to start the medium combat aircraft. Money will not be a problem. That is assurance he got from the Prime Minister himself. Only a handful of countries can be proud to make your own combat aircraft. And the team behind the agency hopes that this place would be a stepping stone to greater success. In Bangalore, a BVP.